Welcome. Uh, in this example, we will take a look at two uh, different kinds of op-amp topologies. So uh, we've already done the inverting amplifier, the non-inverting amplifier, and the summing amplifier. Uh, so let's take a look at this particular circuit right here. So here's an op-amp, uh, no resistors at all. There's a voltage source uh, connected to the non-inverting end, and the negative feedback is on the inverting end. So this kind of voltage, uh, this kind of circuit right here, Let's take a uh, analysis of this. Okay, so here uh, we'll again use ideal op amp. Well, ideal op amp basically says no current goes through there, and that the voltage at this node and the voltage at this node, and the inverting and the negative, uh, uh, inverting and the non-inverting ends are equal. So ideal op amp says V plus equals V minus. In this case. Since the reference node is down here, and that's give the voltage source is given at V in, the V plus is equal to V in. By that token, this node right here is also V in. Now we can see uh, that there is no resistor right here, so that basically means since this node is V in, this node is also V in. Well that node is V in right here, but that node is actually V out. So in other words, in this particular topology, in this particular topology, V out is equal to V in. Okay, so the output voltage is the same as the input voltage. This is a fairly popular topology. This, is, uh, this particular topology is called a voltage follower. Voltage follower. It is used to isolate a circuit or used as a buffer. So V out equals V in. There's absolutely no gain uh, uh, for this particular circuit because we don't have any resistors here. So fairly straightforward circuit topology. Let's take a look at a second circuit topology right here. So in this particular circuit topology, well, this looks like, uh, so there's a negative feedback right here through a resistor to the inverting end. There's an input resistance called R1. But unlike the inverting amplifier that we had looked at earlier, in this case, instead of the voltage source, there's a current source. Well, let's take a look at this topology and try to figure out what is the output voltage uh, in this particular case. Now, this particular circuit, again, if we do idle op amp, we have no current going through here, no current going through there. Uh, also, V plus is equal to V minus. So that and those two nodes are the same. Since in this case the bottom part is given as ground, this bottom, this node right there is equal to zero. That means this node right there is also equal to zero. So in other words, these guys V plus and V minus uh, nodes are equal to zero volt or virtual ground. Now we'll do the same kind of circuit analysis uh, as before. So here's the input resistance. So the current source comes in, that current goes through here through that resistor, comes to this node. Well, no current goes to the inverting end right here. The absolutely no current goes through there because of the ideal op amp rule. So all of that current is actually going here. In other words, if I call this current I1 and I call this current I2, then we have I1 is equal to I2. Well, what's I2? I2 is the current flowing from this node, which is at zero volts towards this output node, which is at V out, through a resistance of RF. So I2 is equal to zero minus V out divided by RF. We can leave our I1 as is. Uh, so what this does is when you simplify it, we end up with V out equals minus I1 times RF. So what's happening here? Well, the current voltage at the output is the product of the current coming from here, from the the current from the current source times the feedback resistance. So this is a popular way to change a current to a voltage. So so this is also called a current to voltage converter. topology.